fear outsider to come home and win the championship. A lot of things had to fall your way, plus you had to win the final race of the year. Can you just walk us through the moments and the drama of that race? I guess at first the hope, then perhaps the realisation that maybe this could come true, then the elation and the emotion of the day. It's tough, you know, I think every championship is different and uh, the way that it normally defines it is how, how it leads into yeah. the last race, you know, whether you're leading the championship or you're very close or you've got an outside, sh outside shot and, and this year was very much an outside shot. Uh, we need a lot of things to go our way and, and uh, you know, I think qualifying was kind of the hardest or, or toughest part, you know, after making the mistake in, in Q2 and, and not, uh, not going through to Q3. Um, you know, we started ninth on the grid and our two closest or two competitors for the yeah. championship were, were starting fourth and fifth. So uh, at a track that's typically not easy to pass. So. Um, I guess, you know, after we got to turn seven on the first lap and we had passed those two already, um, you know, I'm like, oh, this day could actually turn out all right, uh, which would at least, you know, give us a shot of the top three in the championship. Um, but we knew it was going to be tough, you know, with Juan, all he need, really needed to do was just sort of cruise. Um, and then to see that uh, mid-race sort of, uh, you know, crash or, or bump between him and him and Will Power, um, you know, and, and see the yellow come out and then to see, you know, because you kind of follow along and you can see the big screens a yeah. little bit. So then, you know, I could look at those and, yeah. and just figure out where the competition was and to see them back in 17th and 18th. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, we, we got a really <laughs> good shot at this. So uh, and that, and that perfect pit stop, we went from third to first and that uh, one sequence there was, was, uh, was just brilliant. But um, the, ra the team didn't really tell me much, you know, we, we, yeah. we were just, we knew we had to win the race. We wanted to win the race more than anything, and, and uh, that's all we could do. And, and you know, coming down to, to the last lap, the checker flag, you know, I'm like, on the radio, congratulations, guys, you did an amazing job. How's the championship look? And then when they came back and said, uh, we're still working on it, I knew it was close, <laughs> but not as close as you know, winning it on a count back, obviously, yeah. uh, tying on points and, and winning uh, from the extra wins. So it's um, the whole lead, the whole lead up was a, a massive mix of emotions. Uh, the loss of a close friend with Justin Wilson, um, you know, two weeks before, a week before, uh, Pocono, and, and uh, you know, then the championship battle. So, personally, uh, for the championship side, was 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 one of the best, just because it was very unexpected. Yeah. Um, but then emotionally, it was very tough with, with the loss of Justin. When did you know exactly that you had won the championship? Was it whilst you were out on the course? Was it the last lap? Or did it take to when you'd finished and your team had to crunch all those numbers? Montoya finishing sixth. If you finished fifth, he wins the title. To find out you had your fourth IndyCar Series title. You can follow along somewhat. And, and I knew that we had to win the race. And that's, that's all we could do. But to, to, you know, when I came across our finish line, asked the team, you know, when they said, ah, we're still working on it. You know, there was no, uh, you know, you're kind of happy because you won the race, but then, you know, it was, it was once I got about a half a lap around that said, uh, we just won the championship, you know, which, you know, was phenomenal. I, I guess maybe the people on the team knew a little bit longer, but just the, the outside shot that we had and, and the way things worked out and looking at the replay of the race afterwards where, you know, uh, Bourdais hits Ray Hall, you know, takes him out, yeah. then, then... You can't uh, script the stuff. You can't script it. And, when, and, then, and then, you know, uh, Bourdais gets a penalty and, and goes to the back. So, you know, it was, uh, I think as far as a fan watching, um, it would have been phenomenal. But, but uh, you know, for us, just trying to do a job, trying to get on with it and, and hope for the best, you know, we're fingers crossed and, and uh, we're ecstatic, man. That was, that was you know, even my boss, Chip Ganassi, was crowd surfing after the, <laughs> after the race, which is pretty crazy for him, so that was cool. A four-time IndyCar Series champion, 38 wins in the IndyCar Championship, puts you fifth on the all-time winners list. You've done a lot in the sport, you've not really got much left to achieve. How long do you think you'll keep going? It's hard to tell, you know, I think, uh, you know, right now 35, um, you know, I think 40 seems to be kind of the number that you see people, uh, but everybody's different, you know, I think it, when you kind of understand it, whether, you know, some people, you know, um, kind of slow things down from now onwards, but I still have the fire, still have the drive, um, you know, and, and I think, you know, we can still win a lot of races, um, you know, we're only... Four, four race wins away from being third on the all-time list, uh, which would put us right behind AJ Foyt and uh, Mario Andretti, which would be pretty spectacular. You know, uh, right now with the list, you know, it's 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 uh, Foyt, 
Andretti's and Unser than Dixon, which even sounds a bit crazy. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's been an amazing career for myself personally. I feel very privileged, very lucky to, to you know achieve what we have have as a group, and especially you know I think that the the coolest part is giving back to all the people that helped support me at, at such a young age, whether it was my family or you know Craig Harris, PJ, Kenny Smith. You know, there, there's so many people, Colin Giltrap, um, to see it kind of you know progress the way it has has, has been great. Right, so one of the world's fastest drivers. Everyone always wants to know what you're like on the mean streets of Auckland in the car. <laughs> uh, although, anecdotally, it hasn't been a speeding fine you've gotten lately. It's been on a less motorised variety that's got you into trouble. Uh, yeah, I like most. You know, you, you get a bit of road rage occasionally, <laughs> or you know, people are you know, going slow on the fast lane is never what you want to see. But I, I, I generally, I, well, I feel like I'm pretty good uh, on the streets and and uh, haven't had you know really any tickets for the last few years. I did, I did recently get a ticket for rolling through a stop sign on my push bike, uh, which uh, I lost half of my demerit points and it was like a $300 fine, which in America, you know, that's, 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 uh, that's a big fine. You know, normally a ticket's about a hundred bucks. So um, yeah, I might have to do a defensive driving course here soon to get my points back.